Hi guys, how are you all doing today? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Wills and guys, today I have a special guest in the house. Can you guys see him? So this is Mr. Dan Ladi, the CEO, the creative director <laughs> of Calligraphy Studios. Yeah. And guys, I'm shooting from Calligraphy Studios here in Abuja. So please make welcome my special guest, you guys. <laughs> such a pleasure, such a pleasure to have you in our space and to be on your channel. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you thank so much you. for having me. I literally ambushed him. Like, I think I keep ambushing people. <laughs> I called him up and said, I'm going to be in Abuja and I need to see you and connect and if we could film something. And I'm glad you indulged me and yeah. I'm happy to. <laughs> it's an absolute honor, honestly. I'm okay. glad to be here. So today's video, we're going to be talking right. about... So I, I do this series where we talk about how I started my journey and how, how it's going. Okay. So I'm literally just going to be asking you a few questions about your journey so far. Right, okay. Yeah. Cool. I'm up so, for it. <laughs> be, before we started, the before, when we were chatting earlier, you had mentioned um, your journey, a little bit of your journey, and how um, there's some things you talked about, and I want you to talk about that on here. On so, record. Yeah, on record. <laughs> So you, you had, um, okay, first off, why did you do photography? Why are you doing photography? You studied something else. Right. Today you're a photographer. Yeah. Why photography? Okay, so I'd just like to say again. Okay. It's a pleasure being on your channel, <laughs> right? Okay. Um, my name is Khalil. I am the creative director at Calligraphy Studios. I'm a portrait and wedding photographer and now a YouTuber. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right? yeah. So um, photography is something I'm very passionate about. It's become my life, right? right. But then it wasn't always the case. Okay. I went to school. Actually, since I was young, I wanted to be an architect. Okay. I've always drawn, you know, sketch stuff okay. since I was young, and it just felt like that was the thing to do, to do, be an architect. And I went to school, I studied it, you know. I actually enjoyed it, and I still do, because occasionally you I still, still work on projects okay. and whatnot. But somewhere down the line, maybe it's not, I don't want to blame it on Nigerian <laughs> universities, but, you know, somewhere down the line I decided... Um, the path I was on would be I'd work in some firm for somebody yeah. and I didn't really want, want to that. do that. Okay. So it led me to explore other, other talents, so to speak. Okay. And photography came to light because I realized that people around me, maybe like, you know how a group of friends, mm. you want to take pictures. Mm. Everybody would give me the camera. Okay. Like As you, a take the picture. One. Yeah, you take the picture. Okay. And I didn't think anything of it, okay. you know, just, yeah, take the picture and you move on. But then it led to, especially with the explosion of Instagram, right? right. It led to people going, you know, you should buy a camera, right? You know, you should buy a camera, you know, you should buy a camera. Right? So I was, I was in 2015, I was traveling to Benin Kebi, which is far up north, and I'd never been that so far before. Okay. So with my background in architecture and then, you know, just taking pictures of random stuff on the phone, I decided, okay, maybe it's the time to buy a camera. So you bought a camera? Yes, so I bought a camera in 2015. Wow. You came in as a big boy because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for you to just buy a camera. But to be fair, it wasn't, it was a D, D3300, D3300. Okay. Okay. And at the time, dollar was not as high as what it is now. now you right. know. Okay. So the camera costs, oh, maybe like 110, 120K, okay. Okay. you know, with the kit lens and whatnot, right. you know. Okay. So it wasn't like I came okay. in with, the, with okay, something, okay, you know. Okay, okay. It was <laughs> basic entry-level stuff. Camera, okay. You know? So... Yeah, I bought my camera because I was going to travel and coming from the family that I come from, mm. come a large family. Within two months of buying a camera, I was shooting a wedding. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, why would we go and get somebody from outside? So when were they you... paying you, your family members? So my first wedding that I shot, mm -hmm. at the end, they gave me 5K. Ah! <laughs> They gave me 5K, you know what, thank you, da-da-da-da-da-da-da. And 
it wasn't I wasn't disrespectful or I don't I hope that I wasn't arrogant or anything. Right. But when they because they gave me the five K cash. Right. There were kids around that I just turned <laughs> around like after the person had gone and I just shared Again, I hope that it's not from a place of arrogance, yeah. but I just knew that just because I'm just starting this thing doesn't yeah. mean that I am worth 5k. Definitely not. An entire wedding. <laughs> exactly, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. So, yeah, mm. that's basically how I happened upon photography, and here I am eight years later. You're doing amazing. Your Thank studio you. is amazing. Thank you. Thank I you wish very I could. Much. I don't know. Maybe I'll just show, I insert some clips. I did some, um, I took a few. Okay, you did a studio tour. I'm going to link. Okay, I can't link your studio tour into my no, channel. No, you can. You I, okay, so can. I'm going to link yeah. his studio tour to my video so you guys will see Thank his studio. You. He has an amazing space here in Abuja. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you, you talked about um, how you evolved as a wedding photographer. Like there was something, right. there is something you you love to see when right. you shoot weddings. Can you right. shed more light on that? Okay, so um, growing up in Lagos, yeah. right, with most of my family being in the north, yeah. it meant that uh, plus even how Lagos is. Yeah. Do you get what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You're not seeing, even if you have relatives in Lagos, you're mm -hmm. not seeing them all the yeah. time. We, I used to only see most of my cousins and aunties and extended family during like during holidays yeah. and weddings were planned during, during those holidays, holidays right yeah. so they were like mini reunions right. sure so also persons getting married yeah, but it was more person. than just the couple because you like were a reunion. it was a reunion yeah. you know when i started shooting weddings i realized that i was drawn to that mm -hmm. it felt nostalgic it yeah. used to remind me of my childhood like oh yeah weddings mm -hmm. The bride is beautiful and the groom and the, all of that is great, but there's a wider story here, yeah. right? There's context to this person. Yeah. Who are the people that raised them? Uh, Who are the childhood friends? Yeah. You know, this wedding is a reunion. Yeah. Right? I've never thought of it like that. Yeah, that's... That, that but that's wedding. actually what it is. That's what it is, yeah. you know? There are you people who haven't seen each other for years. Yeah. Especially, you know, the way our country is now that we have every year relatives are moving abroad, abroad right? Yeah. So when they come for weddings, Most times, that's what oh, brings them together. I haven't seen you for five years. So I haven't seen you since, You're you know? Little, yeah. So as much as I want to photograph the couple and, you know, they're usually looking their best and yeah. I want to create incredible images of them if possible, I also am drawn to these Jeez. other stories. Yeah. There was a wedding I shot where there was a lady who used to, she was the bride's um, nanny. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah, when the bride was, was a little. baby, okay. right? So we took a picture of her pretending to carry the bride. <laughs> like she used to. <laughs> oh, you know? Nice. And, you know, so yeah, that, that really <laughs> drew me to weddings. Yeah. Because at first it was just something I did because family wanted to. But yeah. the moment I started, I'm like, oh, right. This is why I used to look forward to weddings, mm -hmm. and I want to document that as much as I can. That's awesome. But you know, the, the times are changing, and everybody is trying to just um, post nice, yeah. beautiful, right. um, edited photos, and some people are right. not very concerned about documenting these memories. How are you able to balance this passion you have and also satisfying your clients' needs because right. your clients still want to have the bombast images yeah. of them looking amazing right. on Instagram. And you want to, you, you also want to sell yourself as the person who's telling the stories and giving them those images, right? Because right. I see your photos, you still have those bombast images. Yeah. So you're, you're merging both of them. Please share the little light on. Okay, so um, like you said, you know, not everybody is conscious of these other the stories, stories, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you're in your own world, brides, grooms, everybody has a lot of their minds. Mind, Planning yeah. a wedding isn't easy, mm. you know. I, I get it, right? Okay. But um, there is Sotu used to say, um, shout out Sotu, Sheva so Lotu. <laughs> okay. um, he used to say to create 80% of the work for clients and, and then 20% for yourself, you right? That. So what I try to do to strike a balance is I am going to do my best in our, during our portrait sessions and whatnot to create 
the Instagram worthy, print worthy, Photos. pictures that might trend, just beautiful, Photos. you know, portraits of mm. this couple. Right. But then once we move past portraits, then my team takes over run and gun. Right. Right? right. And then I right. can then Comment. step back and okay, what do I want to capture here? Those Whose stories. story do I want to tell? Beautiful. Right? So we're able to do it's it's teamwork, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. My my team afterwards they take the lead and then I become like a second shooter. Right. Oh right. <laughs> right. I become like a second shooter. Especially if it's a family I photographed before. before so then yeah. okay, I know that is auntie so so so. Yeah. And then this is this 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 so I'm able to capture. This I, is I amazing. Guess. This is amazing. <laughs> and you're opening my eyes to a lot of um, possibilities in the wedding industry. Right. Yeah, because I know that there will probably be people that would want to see those stories, and those people will look out for photographers like you. Right. So that's a, a way of carving another niche for yourself as well, right? Yeah, because it's, it's actually very important to capture those stories. And it is. Because weddings are very now, they're very trendy, Trend, yeah. right? Memories, these other stories are more long lasting, yeah. so to speak. Because um, when you look back at your pictures, you know, okay, you're married, male or female, you know, stuff like you start to add on a bit of weight yeah. or the, how perfect you look isn't how that's looked, not the reality. Isn't, that's not the reality, <laughs> really, right? What is real is emotion. Exactly. Right? Exactly. That, those stories, that's Emotions. real. Right? So yeah. people tend to appreciate it down the line. Like the bride, in the moment, she might just think, oh, just get beautiful pictures okay. of me and my friends and me and my husband mm -hmm. and whatnot. In the moment, that's what she cares about. But, in the, but in the long run, she's going to come to appreciate, oh, thank you for photographing me and this person. Yeah, or, exactly. Not to, not to be dark or anything, mm -hmm. But unfortunately, it's life. People pass away. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And when somebody passes away, it's not those perfect pictures that they put on yeah. like an obituary. Yeah. It's the pictures where they were smiling genuinely. Mm. Right? When they were hugging their loved ones. Yeah. Those and are when the you pictures. look through the album, you see the photos of, oh, this is my auntie. Oh, she looks right. so happy. Right? This, she looked so happy, oh, right? No longer As in, you even hear people yeah. go, Oh, look how I was laughing in this picture. Yeah. I wish I remembered what yeah. was so funny. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it matters more than the perfect... Again, take the perfect pictures. Perfect, in yeah. the moment, that's what matters yeah. the most, right? Yeah. But down the line, do this Document other. And yes. You would find that your clients will love you. Yeah. They would absolutely love you. And they'll keep you. looking at it and finding reasons why they want to still dwell on that album and yeah. look through yeah. and evoke more emotions. Right. So shoot for shoot for Instagram, and but shoot for the album as well. You know, photographers hardly say this, shoot for Instagram, <laughs> but it's actually a thing, and you have to be it's aware of shooting you have to. for Instagram, yeah, yeah. right? You have to. I yeah. mean, it's... It, um, um, it is what it is. I don't want to say unfortunately, but yes, it is <laughs> what it is. It's what it is, you yeah. know. A lot of people look for photographers on Instagram, yeah. right? So, um, a lot of people obviously want to post their pictures and want to trend and want to be on Bella Niger mm. and all of that. So create that work for them. Satisfy right. your clients, but right? Time, but also create work that you know that later you will appreciate this. Better. Right? Yeah. And also satisfy yourself. Also because that was your yourself, drive. Because it's important. And for you, that was also your drive when you got into the industry. Exactly. You know, you know yeah. It's important. So you've been in... How long have you been doing photography now? So this is... I just started my eighth year. Your eighth year. Yeah. So have you faced any challenge? Has it been a smooth ride? Or... How long do you have? <laughs> how long do you have challenges? <laughs> there, have been, there have been a lot of challenges. Right. I guess it's normal. It's normal. And you need challenges. Yeah, true. You absolutely need challenges or else you will not grow. True that. There are times when I come across, of course, every once in a while, you come across a difficult client yeah. and you're pulling your hair out, you know, like, wow, who's this person? Like, what's all this trouble? And when, yeah. But I always take a moment to go, okay, which part of this is my fault? Yeah. Which part of it is my fault? What could I have done different, differently? Right? I had a client who I took pictures of she was glad with the pictures, she was fine. But then her husband had a problem with me giving them the pictures on a flash drive. 
Right. He expected to see it in an album. Okay. Even though it wasn't, communicated it wasn't part of the, the conversation. Do right. you get what I mean? Mm. It wasn't part of the packages that, mm. that I presented to, to them. But then he was, he had what idea. if I do not have a computer? Right. What if I don't have a TV? You pay an extra money now for the album. Which yeah. I wanna... <laughs> right? But yeah. I, it, I'm not saying he mm. wasn't at fault because, yes, if you want an album, you should mm. pay for the album. Yeah. But since then, there are albums in my packages. packages. Right? I yeah. learned, I took the positive yeah. from it, right? So, challenges are necessary. I've had the typical challenges. Of course, cost of equipment is a thing. Mm. How to learning the craft a, learning technique is and you know on. and then building a business true that hmm. building a business yeah. is it's you something that i still haven't conquered i'm still learning, learning right because the year of the hungry creative has passed yeah you know now we're trying to be fed <laughs> yes. do you know what i mean so how do I view calligraphy as a business? Yeah. Not as just my it's studio. Not right? really exactly. Work structure, mm. what are our processes, what is our marketing like, all of that. That's, yeah. That was a challenge that, yeah, I mean, so I'm trying to still conquer, working. still working on it. Um, yeah, so, Devin, I, I, I don't know There's if my challenges are more. unique. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> but, oh, and there's also stuff like theft right. for example okay. right i've had somebody break into my car at an event Ouch. and steal two laptops you know mine and you know my team member that i was with they stole our laptops so the camera we, was not in the car sir. no the camera was with us in Thank the God. in the venue they came to announce that if your car is parked outside go and check so we rushed outside found out that the car had been broken into and laptops were stolen but in the rush, we left a 35 mm 1.5, 1.4. Um, Another person Sigma stole that one too. Somebody took that as well. <laughs> so in one night, we lost that lens, oh two, two computers, and I don't remember whatever or that small thing. Oh, so gosh. yeah, that was a that's challenge. That's heartbreaking. That was a challenge. It was ah, a huge challenge. That's, a, that's heartbreaking. I've lost a, a, I've lost a hard drive right. and um, a laptop. Right. Before and <laughs> I, I, it was heartbreaking. Imagine hard drive. If you even lose a physical, like the physical ones, money can replace it. But people's right. photos, where do you even yeah, start? How from? do you, you know? How do you communicate? Imagine can we somebody's redo wedding. Shoot? Imagine if it's somebody's wedding that is there. So <laughs> it's heartbreaking. And these yeah. are the things that actually happen. You can even do an entire shoot and something will happen and the file will be corrupt or yeah, something. Exactly. Where do you start from? I shot. I shot a battalion, an army battalion. Eh? Yeah. Army. I shot an army battalion. They were so the the they were they must have been over a hundred in number. And I had to climb on a roof to shoot them. And they had to get three horses from Aso Villa for the shoot. Please don't tell me that. Wait now. <laughs> Finish the shoot. Yeah. Everything went well. You know, those people don't they pay you on the spot. I was paid Jeez. cash. Okay, when are we getting our picture? So, so time. Okay, good. Till we hear from you. Bye-bye. So, next day, I'm in my house. I'm editing on my laptop. And you know how you get bored? You want to change positions. So, I lift my laptop. There's this thing I do where I put a hard drive on, like where the keypad is, yeah. right? So, I lift, I turn, then my elbow hits the back of the chair and laptop and hard drive to the, to the ground. And... Hard drive. <laughs> God have mercy. <laughs> Wait, how yeah. did you come out of that? It cost me 80k. Okay, you recovered. The I was fast. able to recover. Like, even when we're recovering, it's right? The cheating. guy was saying, uh, you won't be able to get everything. But then I was like, that, this is fine. This, did you, this one. <laughs> did you get it? <laughs> the rest, no problem. <laughs> hey, and you had to it from the memory card. Formatted memory card, oh, you good. know. So I had to get another hard drive for what was it, twenty five k, thirty k, whatever. But together, Sha. I've faced a lot of this, not yeah. a lot, but maybe like three or four times where hard drive right. something will to just fall, or one small thing will happen. So these are challenges that we actually face, and yeah. sometimes we don't even talk about this. Yeah. It's it feels. 
I feel like, okay, I'm not alone hearing that this has happened to yeah, you before, alone. you know, yeah. like when you can connect with someone and, oh, oh, so it has happened to you. Because yeah. when it happened to me, I just felt like, am I just the most careless person <laughs> or what? Like, how can this happen? Right. You know, I blame my team. Like, how can you guys allow this to happen? Why would those, the one that even happened in my own hand, it was me that was doing it and the, the thing fell. Well, and I, I kept there, blaming there was myself. There no team, there was to, no blame. team to blame. <laughs> I kept blaming myself, you know. And it's, it's like, now I'm always trying to back up in different places. Right. But sometimes it still happens that, because the most recent one that happened, it wasn't as if, I think we just did the event and all the hard drives in the office was full. So we just right. did it. It was just in one hard drive. And then that hard drive stopped working. Thank <laughs> God for recovery. Right. And we were, we're not able to recover the entire file. We recovered just the JPEGs, but we used the JPEGs like that. And thank, thank God that there's something like recovery anyways. Yeah, that's why I think that it's important that one of your most important purchases is to get the best storage that you yeah. can. Get a hard drive that can take a phone. Yes. Get a memory card that can take a phone. Yes. Don't buy, don't, don't chip out on yeah, those on things. Those it's, things. It's really important, you know. It is. Yeah. But we're still here. You're still here. Yeah, Despite still the challenges, here. Yeah. you're still here. Like I said, we need the challenges. Yeah, to grow. To grow. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. And I've realized that a lot of times when we face these challenges, yeah, just like you said, mm -hmm. you now think within, okay, what else can I do differently so that this thing doesn't happen doesn't again? Happen and again. in that way, you see that your business is even growing. You're making yeah. new changes. You're yeah. putting new things in place to yeah. Yeah, grow your business. So thank you so much for staying with us this long and uh, um i'm just going to ask you one last question sure so um a photographer that is you kind of ask something like this in your channel right okay, okay. so guys we we did an uh, we, we did this chit chat like this on his channel i'll probably link it at some point yeah. when it's ready okay so um you asked that you asked me right. what i would advise somebody starting out a photography business and i'm going to throw the same question to you mm -hmm. i typically do that though okay if somebody is starting out a photography business what advice would you give that person? Uh, it's it's a difficult one because it feels like there's a lot yeah. that you need to learn that somebody who is a bit experienced can share with you mm -hmm. right but i think that two things let me just narrow it to two, two things. things okay the first one is, it does not matter how much knowledge you take in. Okay. It doesn't matter how many tutorials, how many workshops you attend, how many books you read, if you do not practice. True that. Word. It's a waste yeah, of time. If you true. do not practice. If all you have is knowledge in your head, mm. and the knowledge is not in your hands. You're not taking the steps to right? actualize it. It's a waste of time. Sorry. I see a lot of young people starting out who only pick up their cameras when, when the client calls. calls. You're not going to go very far. That That's way. true. You're not going to... <laughs> just, yeah. you know, don't, you're not going to go very far. Mm. Practice, practice, practice. I used to, the way you, s you sleep off, you fall asleep with your phone in your hand. I used to fall asleep with my camera in Are my you hand. serious? <laughs> Checking menu systems. Mm. Okay, it's pitch dark. Can I get an image in this darkness? Do you get what yeah. I mean? Like, I really played with my camera. And I would fall asleep, my camera would be next to me. Wow. So when I tell people, there are a lot of people that when I tell that, I'm just starting my eighth year as a photographer and they see my work. Yeah, or they I see the things I've longer, done. Yeah. They're like, no, it's not possible. Like, only mm -hmm. eight years, you know, but, you know, God mm -hmm. has helped me. Yeah. But I also just practiced. Yeah, a lot of practice. You know, so practice, practice, practice. The second thing is, do not compare yourself yes, so. to other people Bam. i know it is i know it's easier said than done yeah. but if you look at okay i don't call any names right but you could look at somebody who you follow on instagram and go man i love this photographer their work i want to do this god when mm. right you started out a year ago two years ago that person has put in 12 solid years yeah. True. What they've learned in those 12 years, you can't compress it to One your two year. years. True that. You can't, right? Yeah. Give yourself time to grow. Don't compare yourself to people. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> you know, you see somebody that is using whatever the latest camera is, whatever yeah. the latest lens is, and maybe they, they were able to take a loan For it. to you buy those even, things. You, you don't know. Even know. You don't know. <laughs> you just see the person using it like, eh, God, when? When, mm. when will I get clients that will pay me enough to? Meanwhile, yeah. that person is owing 
Do you get what I yeah. mean? Or maybe they even took a loan from a family member. Yeah. Or maybe they even made it through their business. Yeah. But they took time to, to grow do. that exactly. clientele exactly. base, right? So practice and don't compare yourself. yourself Everybody's journey is different. It's different. Just keep working at, at, hard at it and want good for your clients. Yeah. Good will come to you. True that. Yeah. And I always say you should compare yourself to your previous. Exactly. You get like yeah. you should be in comparison with yourself. Yeah. Like, how do I update myself? How do right. I get better? That should yeah. be your mindset, yeah. not. Not how do I be this mm. person or be better than mm. that person? Yeah. There are things that that person has that you will never. Never have. have. And these are creative worlds. It's about your individuality as yeah. well. Yeah. So bring yourself into the, and not try to be someone else. Yeah. So this has been quite informative. I have learned a few things. I hope you guys have learned a few things too. Thank you so much, Thank Mr. Calligraphy. I can't Thank wait to have you in Port Harcourt soon. I would love to be in PH, <laughs> honestly. I would love to be in Port Harcourt. You know. Yeah, please you guys should subscribe to his channel. I'm going to link the handle down below. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you guys so much for watching today's Thank video. Thank you. Please drop a comment if you learned anything, if you have any contributions to what we said, if you feel we said anything that you did not agree with. Yeah. Just drop a comment. It's mean a lot to us. Comment. I like to yeah. argue. Let's argue. <laughs> Let's argue in the comment section. Thank you guys so much. Have Thank an amazing you. day. Take Bye. care.